Students, have you ever thought about what goes down drains? Uh, I know that as a kid, I never really thought about it or honestly cared that much, let's be honest. Um, but it's important to know that storm drains go straight to water sources. Water sources are things like rivers and streams and the ocean and sometimes like retention ponds and things like that. So it's important for us to always be aware about what goes down those drains. Now there are some things that it's okay to go down and then there's some things that's like, ooh, probably wouldn't be quite as good for the environment or the animals that live in those water areas if those things went down the drain. I'm gonna take my walk now with Miss Sitka and I'm gonna make some observations about some things that are good to go down the drain and maybe some things that aren't quite as good to go down the drain. Let's go on a walk together. Right under this tree, there is a bunch of leaves and pine needles and dirt and things like that. And this is stuff that though if too much of it gets in the drain, it'll make it plugged up. If just a little bit gets in the drain, that's totally fine because this is natural material. That's totally fine if it goes down the drain. I wonder how it could get washed down the drain because it's in this dirt part and the drain's in the middle of the road. So how does it get there? Having a nice lawn is so pretty and so wonderful, but sometimes there's things that we put on the grass to make it green and happy that isn't so good if it were to end up down the drain. Let's think about some of those things, maybe like fertilizers or pesticides, things that make it so that bugs go away. And again, those things aren't necessarily bad in themselves, but making sure to do them when it's not gonna be rainy or when it's dry, or oh, sick is eating some grass. I'm not really sure why she's doing that. Um, but that's another reason why having things on your lawn isn't always the best because who knows what's gonna eat it or have to live in it. Ugh, I wouldn't wanna live in fertilizer, but we can do or uh, use fertilizers and things like that responsibly by doing it when it's dry and not rainy out and also by using environmentally friendly versions of those things. Uh oh, not too long ago we had a windstorm and some of my neighbor's garbage got blown out onto the street. Now that's really unfortunate and no one really likes to pick that sort of stuff up but if that were to go down the drain which is not very far then that could either clog up the drain or end up in those water sources that we talked about. Uh-oh. So it's important for us to always pick up our trash. You could do your part by picking up trash and throwing this away. Doggy doo-doo is another down the drain don't. Doggy doo-doo doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, but um, there is stuff that's in doggy poo-poo that's not very good for animals that live in those water areas that we talked about fish and salamanders and frogs and those sort of things can get really sick if they um, live in the water that has lots of doggy doo-doo in it or if they eat it or something like that. So it's always important to clean up after our pets. They may be our best friends, but they need help to clean up after themselves. Isn't that right, Sika? Oh, she's busy sniffing something. Sika and I get to the end of our walk we have realized that there are lots of different things around in the neighborhood where we live that could end up in the drain and we can do our part to help take care of it and make sure that only good things are going down the drain. That's not to say that we can't really control what other people do, but what we can do is we can take care of ourselves, take care of our own pets and pick up their doo-doo, uh, make sure that garbage doesn't go down the drains, and also we could just make observations about where drains are at and think about, hmm, what are some things that I can do to help make sure that only good things go down drains? So that's my challenge for this week for you guys is to look around, see where some drains are near where you live, and if you have the ability, think about some ways that you can help make sure that only good things go down storm drains. Awesome!